So let's try to understand how to do back of the envelope calculation with an example. So before doing back of the envelope calculation, remember these mappings. These are very important. That when we represent anything in thousand, we will use 10 to the power 3. Anything when we talk in terms of MB or million, we will use 10 to the power 6. If we talk in terms of billion, we'll talk in terms of 10 to the power 9. And trillion, we will talk, talk trillion or TV will talk in terms of 10 to the power 12. GB or billion, 10 to the power 9. So with that, let's see the example of YouTube. So let's say the total number of videos, sorry. The total number of users in YouTube is 2 billion, out of which total like the daily actively using uh, users count is 600 million. So again, what we will do, 2 into 10 to the power 9, we will use the here. In case of 600 million, we'll say 10 into for million, we had 10 to the power 6. So we will represent it like 600. This is how it is easier for us to do the calculation. Average length of a video is 10 minutes. Size of the video before compression is 600 MB, the original size. And when we are doing encoding and compression, we are uh, getting the sizes 50 MB. So our problem statement is we want to test, calculate how much storage is required. So for that, I need to calculate the total number of videos and the length of each video. So let us say every minute, like every one minute, the total amount of content which is uploaded to YouTube is worth 500 hours, a like total in just one minute. If, if that is the assumption, how are we calculating? Just see. If 10 minute video long, uh, video of 10 minutes is taking up 50 MB space, 50 MB after compression. And what is the size of one minute long video? 5 MB. For just the size of one video is 5 MB. Now, I want to say that if one minute video long is taking 5 MB, how much the 500 hours worth of content which is uploaded every minute will take? This is the calculation. We have 500 hours. We are calculating 60 minutes we have in an hour into 60 into the size of one minute video. So this is going to give me in a minute how much storage storage is required. In a minute, that is why I'm multiplying by 60, how much storage is required. So here when we do that, we are getting 150 GB. Now over here, since we had MB, we have used 10 to the power 6. Now you can take a copy and just try to do this calculation. It should come to 150 into 10 to the power 9. So again, 10 to the power 9 is substituted with 150 GB. So just one minute of video across entire YouTube when we are uploading, that is taking 150 GB. So now if 150 GB is required in one minute, in one day, how much is required? We can just multiply 24 hours in a day. This we are getting 216 terabytes in one day. In a year, how much storage will be required? In a year, 365 days. So we'll multiply and we are getting 79 petabyte. So 79 petabyte storage is required to store the entire content. This is, this is the estimation. So this is the storage estimation we have done.